Hi everyone, welcome to Sweet Pea Sids Inspirations. My name is Sydney and today I am revealing to you guys what I have made that came out of bag number two for the yarn roulette. Now, if you are new here and haven't checked out the series and wondering what the series is about, it is something new that I have brought you to my YouTube channel and it consists of my husband coming into my craft room picking out yarn that he either likes or dislikes or feels like I could really make something with and then he puts them in drawstring bags. You guys get to vote on which bag I open up and I make something out of that yarn. Um, it is completely anatomous what is in the bags. I have no clue. Um, and then I create something with, share with you guys either in a tutorial or a written pattern form. Um, so if you have not seen the bag reveal and wondering what yarn was in bag number two, um, this was the yarn. So this is a darn good yarn, um, cake. And I had got this several years ago when I first started learning how to crochet. And I, at that time, didn't really care for the yarn. So I just kind of put it on the shelf and that's where it's been ever since. Um, so I ended up having to make something with this and when I put this on the yarn counter it was only about 70 yards so I knew it wasn't going to be anything big or extravagant um, with being so little of a yardage and I decided to go with knitting because knitting um, does not take as much yarn as what a crochet, crochet project will. Um, so I did kind of give you guys a little hint of what I was making in my last updated video and well now you guys can actually see what I have made. Um, nobody has seen this other than my mom, my husband and of course myself. So I did put it out there that it was going to be a knitted beanie and so that did come true. This is the knitted beanie that I have made out of the yarn and I did use a secondary color with this um, which this is a mosaic knitting style and um, as you see as busy as the yarn is the pattern kind of gets lost in the yarn. You can kind of see it but um, to me, it kind of looks like it gets lost a little bit as busy as the yarn is. Um, so this is actually going to, when I go to do the tutorial, this is going to be in a small, a woman's small to medium size hat. Um, and then I'm also doing a written pattern as well. This is a 12 row repeat um, for the pattern itself. Now I have already started on the tutorial as well and the tutorial I have pinned in for the um, around the 5th of March if you guys are interested and I will give a little bit more detail on that um, in my next updated video as far as um, when exactly it is going to be released. I just know that I have it pinned in for around the 5th of March. Um, so, like I just stated, I have worked on the tutorial and um, in the tutorial, I am actually using two contrasting colors. I am using the black and I'm also using a blue turquoise-ish turquoise color. And um, this is how this hat is coming out. So that is, I absolutely love how the pattern really kind of shines through. With working with two contrasting colors you can actually see the pattern a lot better versus in this one um, so I have gotten to the point where I am about to start the decreasing for the top part of the hat and I absolutely enjoy enjoy this pattern um, so that's really all that I have with for you guys today um, again, the tutorial will be around the 5th of March, um, so please stay tuned for that if you are so interested in this. 
But if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email me or even comment down in the comment section and I will be gladly to help you guys out. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.